Hi everyone, my name is Samantha. I am a first year mental health student in Ulster University in McGee campus and we have been given a module to complete this year. It's about mental health and the promotion of mental health. When the opportunity arose to participate in the Derry Stravan Virtual Learning Festival, we thought this would be a great way of promoting what we've been learning in theory in university and also to connect with our communities. This is a really important aspect for us first year mental health nurses as we would usually be out in practice learning experience but due to the current pandemic we weren't able to go out. We, the mental health cohort, have come up with three very different videos however the message remains the same. It is about promoting mental health and well-being. The first video you see from our students is how they have been promoting their own mental health and what has been getting them through this tough time. They talk about the importance of setting small goals and being able to achieve these and how it promotes their own mental health. In the second video you'll see how students have been connecting with older people and vulnerable people and supporting them getting through this tough time. The strength between our communities and what has brought us together has been amazing and we feel that after lockdown this should not be lifted, it should There's be continued. There's people are vulnerable and need our help and it's not just in times of crisis. We want to expand this message and make it be heard. And thirdly, our last creation is a poster. It is for ages 7 to 11 and it's for adults on how to be able to share this time with their children they know. As you all know, protecting children's mental health is very important. So by us sharing this poster, we're hoping that it'll allow you to have the conversation with your children and ask them how they're feeling. This poster will encourage children to look after their own mental health and show them that they are supported throughout it all. For us student nurses, uh, mental health promotion is about empowering others, developing resilience and encouraging individuals to look after their own mental health. We hope that from our three creations, you'll be able to take one small thing to help someone you know or help yourself after all, there is no health without mental health. For me, to be honest, lockdown at the start had its challenges. Um, lockdown has maybe been stressful for a lot of us. Um, just with maybe not being able to see our families or friends or just not having that routine that we normally have. Um, so I've tried to implement a few strategies that um, have been keeping me going through lockdown. Things that have really kept me going throughout this whole lockdown would be one, exercise. As you can see I'm just back from a run but I've been trying to do it as much as I can like every day. And it's brilliant, it helps clear the head and it takes up a body of your day too, it takes up like an hour, good run to yourself. I'm about to go on another one of my wee 5k runs that I've been doing almost every day over lockdown. I mean it's not easy to motivate yourself every day but it definitely takes your mind off things and stay positive because all you ever see in the news these days is doom and gloom so that's definitely made lockdown a lot more easier for me. During the current pandemic I find it really beneficial coming out for a walk every day to keep my body and my mind active to allow any negativity to leave my headspace. The thing that has kept me going is maybe getting outdoors into the sunshine, as you can see. Um, it's a great day, the sun is shining. Um, during the night I wake up very restless with loads of stuff to do in my head. So I have a notepad sitting inside my bed and I write everything down so it gives me clarity the next day and I don't feel as stressed or anxious. What this lockdown period has taught me is one, um, to be comfortable with myself, to be comfortable in my own surroundings for an extended period of time. And finding those little nuggets in life, finding things that uh, you wouldn't have done prior, or just finding things that you were doing, and maybe understanding the actual impact they could have on your mental well-being. When lockdown started, I set myself a wee target to walk Five miles, five days a week, and then it just means that if I want my wee sneaky Chinese at the weekend, I've earned it. Doing things from small things to big things can turn bad days into okay days. You can't argue with having an okay day. Um, try and even when you're in the house, cooking, baking, things that keep you occupied and entertained, and that are a healthy way of transferring um, your time at home because it is easy enough to get into your rut. And it's important that we all stay connected, especially during the pandemic. Um, and it's all important that we stay in touch and talk to each other. I like to come to work, which keeps my mind busy and allows me to help others. But seriously, I clear my head. A wee run down around the quay, a wee five miles every night. 
excuse me, because I'm soaking, because I was lashing around. But that's how I get rid of any negativity, any bad thoughts, especially after stressful days at work. During lockdown, the most important thing for me was getting out and about, um, trying to get out walking when I can and entertain this little one. So today, we've come to the beach and we're going to make some sandcastles and then we're going to go and get some ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, if you can say the word good, then guess what? It means you're still alive. It means you're still breathing. And if you're still breathing, that means you've still got some fight left in you. So get up, dust off, reload, recalibrate, re-engage, and go out on the attack. Throughout lockdown, we have been baking buns and cooking meals for the elderly in our local community. I'm helping my neighbors with the recycling bin during COVID pandemic day. When elderly people began shielding, they were unable to take their wee dogs out for their daily walks. So I thought it would be a good idea if they left them at their front door, I could collect them and take them out for a wee walk for them. Um, a lot of them were quite anxious that the dogs would miss out. So I thought this was a good way of helping out during the lockdown. During lockdown, I would take my neighbor's dogs for walks um, every week as they were cocooning and weren't able to do it themselves. For the mental health promotion and prevention activity, our group have chosen to design a poster called How to Be Happy in Lockdown. With a lot of discussion and thought, we decided that our target population for the poster would be young people between the age of 7 and 11. We believe this target population is appropriate due to the current ongoing pandemic. As a group, we notice that children no longer have a routine. They cannot go to school or even play with their friends in the street. This situation could keep children feel worried and not able to cope. Therefore, we hope our poster will encourage and aid children to be happy. Down. Also, we believe increasing awareness of mental health and illness will increase, increase knowledge. With more knowledge, there will be less stigma. Therefore, students who have or suspect they have a mental illness may feel more comfortable reaching out for help. The poster is colourful and uses words that are easy for children to understand. Overall, we strongly agree teaching children at a young age how to cope with worry and stress will help when they are teenagers and the adults. Now a few members from the group will explain what is featured in our poster. There's an old saying, one cannot think well, love well, sleep well if one has not dined well. Why not take this time to educate children on the benefits of a good balanced diet? There are links between diet and mental health, including healthy brain development. Parents can help children hone their culinary skills whilst providing tips on your five a days. Evidence suggests that good quality nutrition may play a role in contributing to the prevention of mental health problems. Make it fun by trying the delicious, nutritious smoothie recipe on the back. 
So remember, happiness is great food and great company. Now, let's keep active. With the closure of schools and after-school activities, some children may have found themselves with too much time to spare. We have included some fun activities that all members of the family can participate in. Studies have found that daily moderate exercise helps to improve your mood and general well-being and helps people feel better about themselves. Activities such as hide and seek, walking a pet, or sweating with Joe Wicks can help to relieve boredom and keep brains healthy. Spending time with their loved ones also helps to improve and strengthen relationships whilst also creating an outlet for possible concerns or worries to be aired. These are just some of the ideas on how to keep a positive mindset during lockdown. As self-isolation may lead to us being less active, it is important to eat healthy food, drink plenty of water and stay active. Keeping a routine and getting enough sleep also plays a part in maintaining good physical and mental health. In these times, it is normal to feel anxious, sad, worried and scared. For many people, feelings of sadness can lead to bad habits. Try to be mindful of this and make good, healthy choices. Having good times and making memories with loved ones can boost or improve your mood. Always remember, if you are feeling down, to reach out to an adult like a teacher, parent or a family member. A challenge shared is a challenge halved.